Well, hello. Welcome to live. I'm Lisa from the Chocolate Carousel. We're making this really cute cake today. I'm gonna show you how to do it. And while I've been just playing with it, everybody that walks by is like, that cake's so cute. So you'll definitely get rave reviews if you try this at home. This cake is a fun pool party cake or beach cake. Either way, um, just brings out a little feeling of summer. So it's perfect for summer barbecues. I love the little guys, the little Teddy Grahams, besides looking really cute. They're really good. I had to pop a few in while I was testing and make sure they were okay. You know, quality control, that's part of my job. Erica's here, she's ready. Hey, Erica. This is a fun cake. The kids will like to help you with this. So, we're gonna start with a two layer cake. I used a yellow cake and filled it with strawberry just because I thought that was a really summery way to go. The other flavor I was thinking about was pina colada. So you could do a, a golden cake with pineapple and toasted coconut inside. That would be another really fun summery flavor. And I'm sure you can think of more if you just give it a minute. Um, and I crumb coated this. So just filled it and then crumb coated it so we were ready to decorate. So you can see, you can see cake through and crumbs. That's not, nothing fancy here. Just giving it a little outside icing just to hold everybody together so we can decorate. Because let's face it, decorating is the fun part. Almost the most fun. The most fun is eating it. Second most fun is decorating it. So, I'm gonna start with Kit Kats. I have nine bars here. Um, look, you can get 12 because if there's leftover Kit Kats, that's not an emergency. You can eat those. So I would say if you're not sure what you need, get a few extra bars, but I have nine here that I'm gonna go around this cake with. And so what I wanna do is, I had this in the fridge so it could set up and be nice and firm, but because of that, the buttercream's not soft anymore. So I wanna add a little buttercream to this so that I have something for my Kit Kats to stick to. So I have a little bit in a bag, pastry bag, I took the tip off, and just kinda of holding this at the midpoint of the cake, I'm gonna just spin my cake away from me and give it a little stripe of buttercream. And do the same right along the bottom. So you have a little something for your Kit Kat to anchor to. All right, nothing fancy there, just a little rim of buttercream. And then taking these, I like to work in um, sticks of two because I think that keeps it more rounded to the cake. Trying to do them in fours, you, it's more square. So sticks of two kind of just build this all the way around. Just come and just set them up. And just pushing against the buttercream that you laid down there so that they stick to the cake. So you can slide these once they're on. So if you need to space them out a little bit, either tighter or a little bit more farther apart so that it, it fills in the entire cake, you can always do that if you need to. I unwrapped all of these before so you wouldn't have to suffer through that with me. That's something good to do before you start. Get them all unwrapped so you're not trying to do that while you're working on your cake. Who doesn't love Kit Kats? I like Kit Kats. I like to dip them in coffee. Did you ever try that? I have. Yeah, I mean, it's really good. It's terrific. Yeah, get the melty chocolate in there. Russ, if there's one thing I know, it's eating. I have mastered it. PhD. PhD in food. All right, so when you get these Kit Kats all the way around, and as soon as you do, look, this is the basis for lots of different designs. It works really cute for this pool party cake, but you could do this for a barrel, right? You could do this for any kind of different, um, so a flower pot, add a little ribbon around the side, put flowers in it, right? So you can use this technique for lots of different designs. Yeah, I mean, don't you get excited when it works out just perfectly? Really, really. Could it be any better? Get that last one in there. Oh, oh we made it. All right, once you get them all on, you wanna give them a little squeeze. Just give your cake a little hug. Love your cake. Cause you want those to make sure they're all firmly attached. And once you're comfortable that they are and they're not gonna be falling off on you, we're ready to decorate the top. Erica, so, says, Erica says Jackson would love doing that. That's her, right? Oh yeah, yeah. for sure, yeah. for sure. Okay. So, I wanna give it some, some water now. And I wanna divide the cake, so mentally, I can use a little knife to do that. I wanna divide the cake to beach and water. So, 
I'm going to make the beach side a little smaller than the water. So about a little bit over from the midpoint, I'll make my line. That's where my beach is going to go, and this part's going to be my water. I chose this side for my water because my cake's a little lower there. So I can fill that in with icing. So that's why I picked it that way. So you can always be paying attention to things like that. So a little bit of buttercream that I dyed in aqua color. Gonna plop that down on the water side. And using an offset spatula, I'm gonna just fill that in. So I wanna come right up to the edge of my Kit Kats and to the line that I drew. Just with a gentle touch, I'm just spreading that out. So this is water, so it doesn't need to be smooth. In fact, you don't want it to be smooth. And give it a little bit of a wavy texture in here by just using your spatula to lift. All right, really cute. Now, I'm gonna take some mirror glaze. This is piping gel. This is a great tool. It works really well on cakes in lots of different capacities, but for water, it's great because it's shiny. Take a look, it's cool. Right, so you can color this too. I'm gonna color a little bit and I'm gonna use the same container that I had the blue icing in. Use a little bit of the mirror gel. I'm gonna scoop in there. And a little bit of darker blue food coloring to give me some shades of color. And I always use a food gel because yeah, I don't want the liquid to thin this. I just want to get a nice bright color. It's okay if that little bit of buttercream mixes in with it because it's water. So you can have lights and darks in there. I'm gonna pop some of this down right on the top and spread that around too. You kind of want that to mix in with the color below so that you see that lights and darks. Pretty, right? Very cool. I like seeing the different shades of color in there. I think that's fun. All right, now I want it to be shiny. So I'm gonna use a little bit of the clear mirror glaze right on the top clean spoon because you don't want to have any color in here because you want to have this to use all the time with different things so always take a clean spoon in between so just about a tablespoon of that now give you a little bit of sheen a little reflection um so it looks like water i'm going to use the back of my spoon here danielle so it's very pretty yeah it's really pretty and look at it, it looks it looks wet which is what i love so it gives that a really realistic look for the water Pretty. Cool? All right. Now we're gonna add the sand. This is just crushed graham crackers. Doesn't get any easier than that. Just throw them in the food processor, pulse them up, put them in a baggie, roll them with a rolling pin. If you wanna do it the old fashioned way, that's fine. I'm gonna sprinkle those right along the line. A little bit back from there. Just smooth that out. I got blue nails today too, matches the cake. Nice, nice. I'm always thinking about these things, you know? Nails match the cake, it's so fun, match the season. You like that, Erica? Okay. All right, so check it out. You got your beachy side, got your pool side. It's really cute. Well now, you need to have some guests enjoying your oasis. Couple things we need. Peach rings. Believe me, you need peach rings. These are amazing. Have you ever had one of these, Russ? No. Russ, <laughs> what have you been doing all your life if you haven't had a peach ring? I don't think I have. These things are crazy good. So besides that, they make really cute little floaties. So we're gonna have three little floaties in the pool. You could have more if you like. I'm gonna go with three because I'm gonna eat the rest of this bag throughout the day. This is important research. It's show research. 
I got a couple little cocktail umbrellas. Your mom loves peach rings. My mom does love peach rings, actually. She likes anything peach. Peach, pineapple. She's a fruity kind of girl. Oh, it's also Jenny's favorite. How about that? Peach rings are good. See, thing. there's a whole world out there the eating whole... peach rings, Russ, and you're missing out. I'm missing it. You got to hang with me more. More. All right, so be gentle with these little cocktail umbrellas. They're fragile. I'm sometimes like a bull in a china shop, and you know, so be gentle. Pop them open, get a couple of colors so that you make your cake pretty. Mix it up. Don't stab yourself with the toothpick. These are all important things that I'm telling you. This little, this little band on here is what you use to open the umbrella. So you don't want to take that part off. So I kind of get it started a little and then use that to push it up. There you go. By the way, Jenny at Nails Plus did my nails. They're really pretty, right? Sparkly? Yeah. Thank you, Jenny. She's the best. Okay. So I got my little umbrellas in there. Did you have somebody else you were supposed to say hi to? Yeah, I wanted to sweet. say hi to Sam from UPS. Sam watches me on live. Sam's great. Always gets my packages here on time. Thank you, Sam. All right. Taking a little bit of fondant to make a beach mat. You can pick whatever colors you want. All right, I just did an aqua and a purple just because I wanted to have some different colors. I think this cake should be as colorful as possible. Really bright, really colorful, really fun. So you know when we have fondant, we wanna knead it for a minute just to get it soft and pliable. I have a blue finger now. That'll be there till about Friday. Yay for blue food coloring. <laughs> Good thing I don't have to be anywhere special. Just be here getting other colors on me. All right, I got a little purple, a little bit of blue. This is too much blue. And I'm gonna use a little bit of confectioner sugar down on my table just so it doesn't get sticky on me. And roll those out. These are my little beach mats. So you can have really, you can have fun with the beach mats too. If you have a lot of time, you can be creative. You can make stripes on them or marble color together. Make them colorful as any way you like. Erica suggests fruit roll-ups. Yeah, fruit roll-ups are great. Oh, oh, that oh. piece is out of the question now. We got another one right here. Um, fruit roll-ups are great. Fruit by the foot, that's another thing you could do. You can cut a piece of that, that works. Yeah. I use fruit roll-ups a lot, actually, in some of my decorating. Okay. So you want to cut these. I just use a knife. I'm going to cut a little mat. Remember, it's just a little Teddy Graham guy, so he doesn't need that much space. i make a little rectangle out of it. Do the same with the other one. Kind of make them the same size. You can use one to measure the other one. That's what I usually do. So, get rid of that excess fondant. Just take your finger and kind of smooth out the sides so you don't have any rough edges. Just smooth it out and then lay it down in your sand wherever you want it. Same with this one. They're gonna be friends, so we're gonna put them kind of close together. Okay. Well, we need the we need the star of the show now. Teddy grams. You can get the chocolate ones if you want them to be ultra tan. That's cool. You know, if they've been out there, the end of their vacation. Um, say, so get a few of those. These are nice. These are golden. This is a good color. You know, even your dermatologist would be okay with this color. It's not too bad. I'm gonna put a little buttercream on the back of him and stick him to the beach mat. Oh, look at him, he's so cute. Same one with this one. The rest of these guys, they're going in the water. I don't think these tiny grams can swim, so we're putting them into their little inner tubes. Peach ring inner. Get them in there. They fit perfectly. 
and let those float. Any little bikinis. It looks refreshing. Well, it's funny you should say that because we are going to give them uh, a little character. I have for my girl, Teddy Graham, she's getting a pink bikini, and I'm just going to use some pink buttercream to pipe on her suit. Chuck says you should put a cannoli on there. A cannoli? Yes. I'm not sure what the purpose of that would be, but yeah. it's never bad to include a cannoli. Yeah. I don't see a problem with that. Okay, and for our guy, he's gonna get some shades. Gotta come around this way. Let me get a little. Aw, they're so cute. Couple of beach balls. I use some gumballs for that. Throw those into the pool too, so they can have some fun. And I made a little chocolate shell. And I'm gonna stick that in the front just to give it a little character. So cute. You can write right here if you want to. Let's do that. What do you think? Try pool party. You can write happy birthday. You can write anything you want, but you have a nice little surface here to write. There you go. Such a fun summery cake. A great birthday cake. Everybody can have fun playing along. You can think of other things to put in the water if you want to. Like uh, you could make those little noodles that you float on out of, out of fondant or even licorice. That would be fun. You could definitely have fun and embellish this cake even further if you want to. This is such a cool, fun pool party cake. I want to go in the pool, but got to work. Duty calls, gotta make the donuts. That's just the way it goes. Guys, thanks so much for joining me today on live to make this fun pool party cake. I'm gonna start a series coming up in the next few weeks with no bake desserts because it's hot and we don't wanna turn on the oven. So we're gonna talk about some no bake desserts in the next couple weeks if you're interested in that or even if you're not and you just wanna see what I come up with, join me here on live. Tonight we have a cupcake decorating class which is sold out. If you guys missed out, make sure you check our events coming up so that you can get involved. We have a lot of fun. Cake decorating class on the 28th. Um, we're gonna be making a garden theme cake. Really fun with flowers. Come and join me for that. We're gonna have a good time. This Saturday, Sweet Tooth Saturday. You know how I feel about it, it's the best. All you can eat cake filling and frosting from four to six for just six bucks. You can bring your own cocktails to that. Come and join us for Sweet Tooth Saturday. You can sign up online on our website or just walk in. We have so many fun things going on here. Definitely come and see us at the shop. We hope to see you soon. See you next Wednesday. Have a great week.